Hey, uh, welcome back. So this is gonna be a really quick video today. We're gonna talk about how to make it so that when you have a row bomb that would uh, bomb a column bomb, it would also get rid of that column or, you know, vice versa. Um, and sorry about the audio quality in my last video. For some reason, my laptop decided not to use my external microphone and instead used its own internal microphone, which is crappy. Um, so, all right, so let's get to it. Um, what we want to do here, let me just demonstrate exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna do some messing around here to make things work how I want them to. I'm gonna go over to my scene view. Um, I'm going to flip this yellow piece with that red piece. And I'm gonna make this yellow piece a column bomb. Is column bomb. And I'm gonna make, let's do this Actually, yeah, let's do this uh, red piece up here. I'm gonna make this one a row bomb. Um, now, with the way stuff is right now, when I swap these two, this row bomb won't trigger. So if I swap them, you can see it got rid of those three. And even though this piece was a row bomb, those pieces didn't go away. And we're gonna fix that today. So what I want you to do first is open up your find matches script. I already have mine open. And the two methods we're gonna be messing around with are get column pieces and get row pieces. So let's deal with get column pieces first. So what I wanna do here is I'm going to make a really quick reference to the um, dot component of the current dot we're dealing with. So I'm gonna say dot dot is equal to for dot all dots. And in this case, I wanna do column I dot get component and the component I want to get is the dot component and then that means I can also change this down here to instead of being all this gobbledygook to just being dot I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place sometimes I do stuff that's real dumb anyway so now that I've got a reference to the dot component I want to check to see if that dot is a row bomb because I'm switching a column bomb so if dot dot is row bomb and if it's a row bomb, then I want to get the row pieces. So I want to um, union our current list of game objects, which is dots. So dots.union. And I want to union it with get row pieces. And the row pieces I want to get are from row i. And there's one thing you have to add if you're going to use the union, uh, and that is dot to list. Otherwise, um, open close parentheses because it's method. Otherwise, it gets a little touchy. So there we go. That's all I have to add to this in order to, to make it work the way I want to. Now I'm going to copy these, what is it, five lines. And I'm going to go down into my get row pieces method. I'm going to paste that in. Um, instead of being column I, in this case, it's going to be I comma row forget row pieces, oops, there we go, I comma row, and then instead of checking to see if it's a row bomb, I want to check to see if it's a column bomb, and instead of get row pieces, I'm going to get column pieces um, of I, I still want to do it to list, cool, and I can change all of this stuff here into just stop. There we go. All right, cool. So I'm gonna save my script and that should be all we have to change. Uh, if I pop back into Unity here, I'm gonna hit play and we're gonna test this out. Um, <laughs> okay, so in my scene view, I'm gonna make this one here. I'm gonna make you a column bomb which means it's gonna blow up the whole column. And then down here, this little blue one, I'm gonna make this one a row bomb. Use row bomb. Flip over to game, flip flop, and there we go. The bombs chained together. So yeah, that was, was way easier than I was making it out to be. Um, those of you who were waiting for a while for that, I am sorry. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a super quick video today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. 
Um, I have in the description, I have the GitHub link, which has the updated version of the project. I have a link to my Discord server where you can chat with me. I'm there pretty much every day. And I have a link to my Twitter account where you can find out when I post new videos. Um, feel free to give me a like if you learned something new. Um, you can give me a like if you didn't learn something new. And have yourself a wonderful day.